Hey everybody, this video is long overdue. Those of you who've watched my channel before know that I employ a type of sky flat that I call a UPPD mat. Urban Paper Protector Diffuser Mask Astrophotography Tool. Urban Paper Protector Diffuser Mask Astrophotography Tool, UPPD mat. And what this is, is a thin, semi-transparent sheet of plastic that diffuses light so that you can take a sky flat. Now this type of mask has saved my astrophotography on countless occasions, especially when imaging from light polluted borderlate or worse skies, where all sorts of artifacts would creep into my images. Things like rings and weird gradients that just wouldn't come out with standard background extraction. So in this video, I wanna do a follow up to that first video I did a few years ago where I first introduced the concept. Over the last two years, I've tweaked my approach to how to use these UPPD mat sky flats or night sky flats to their highest effectiveness. And I'd like to share that with you. Hi, my name is Chris and welcome to my channel. Flat frames are a type of calibration frame designed to filter out uh, things like smudges and vignetting, shadows left by dust motes on your sensor. Without these, you end up with weird splotches and streaks in some of your images. So they are part of the set of calibration frames that you would use to apply to your astrophotography images during processing. They don't normally address sensor glow, uh, or burned out pixels, that is something that a dark frame does. Flat frames can be taken a number of different ways, but the two most common ones are using light panels, where you have uh, a panel that has a backlight that you put over the aperture of your telescope, or if you don't wanna spend the money on a light panel, many people use a type of flat called a sky flat, where you take something like a white t-shirt you drape it and stretch it over the opening of your telescope. You point the telescope up at the sky during the day and you take your flats. So what is a nighttime sky flat? Well, a nighttime sky flat, like my UPPD mat, is really the same concept as using the stretch t-shirt, except you're using a much thinner and more transparent film. Here's what I use. This here is a piece of transparent paper divider from a binder. I've cut it out to fit right into the opening of my six inch telescope. It is far thinner and more transparent than a white t-shirt would be. And that is what gives the sky flats at night their magic. You see, by being semi-transparent, they diffuse the light from bright objects that you would be imaging, but they let in enough of the stray light that causes those very same artifacts like rings. They're also fantastic at capturing those types of uh, smudges and dust motes and other types of shading and defects that a normal flat would capture. Uh, here's another variation. This UPPD mat here has been cut out to fit around this plastic container that fits over top of smaller lenses such as this one. As I was saying, two years ago, when I first experimented with the concept, I was taking these UPPD mat sky flats with the same duration as my lights. So if I was imaging three minute exposures, then I would take three minute sky flats. Now the problem with this is that you don't have to take your darks every single session. Most of us get away with taking darks every once in a while, which means you can afford the time to take one hour's worth of dark frames periodically. But if you're going to do that with flats, now you're taking one hour out of your imaging session in order to be able to get enough flats to apply to your images. And unfortunately, in the summer, where we have a much shorter window of darkness to image in, we don't want to be wasting all that much time taking flats. So without burying the lead, what I've learned are three important concepts when using these nighttime sky flats. Number one, take short exposures. Instead of taking the flats at the same gain setting and exposure length as the lights, 
what I do is I up the gain and reduce the exposure time to keep the histogram in the bottom left hand side. For my camera, which is the ASI 294MC Pro, uh, when shooting at 480 gain, that gives me a 10 second exposure to take a single sky flat. These days I have an imaging plan and astrophotography tool that I've set up to capture 30 of these UPPD mat nighttime sky flats and I find that that is more than enough. The second thing that I've learned is that if your sky conditions are particularly bad, we're talking full moon, we're talking uh, lights from neighboring homes, uh, sky glow from the city, it's often best to take these UPPD mat sky flats at various points in time of your imaging session. And this is because as your telescope is pointed in one direction, the angle of light pollution coming in through the front is going to change as the telescope follows your target across the sky, or if you're shooting multiple targets. So what I tend to do now is I definitely take different UPPD mat flats for every object that I image. And when conditions are worse, I take multiple sets of UPPD mats, one at the beginning, one in the middle, and one at the end of my session. And the third realization that I had, or the third lesson learned, is not to try to combine dark frames with flat frames. You see, when I started out using these UPPD mats, I was taking long exposures. And because of this, I was picking up the amp glow from my camera. Now, if I combined these UPPD mat sky flats with regular darks, I would actually be doubling up on the amp glow filtering, which would create like a reverse amp glow situation in some of my images. That's why I did away with the dark flats completely and kept everything contained to the UPPD mats. But since I've reduced the exposure time to about five to 10 seconds, I no longer have the amp glow issue, which means I could go back to using regular darks along with these nighttime sky flats. And that gives me the best of both worlds because I have proper darks that account for amp glow, that account for burnt out pixels. And I now have really, really good flats that account for changing lighting conditions at night, including all sorts of light pollution, which saves me a heck of a lot of hassle. I had a lot of great feedback to that first UPPD mat video with people trying out the concept and getting great results. So if you haven't tried this yet, do yourself a favor, get a semi-transparent piece of plastic and try imaging flats at night. They could make a world of difference to your imaging. Thanks for watching this update. And until next time, clear skies.